Hello everyone, I am Melissa Ashley and welcome to my channel. Guess who's back? Back again. Boo who's back? Tell a friend, guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? I'm so glad you've joined me again and you know now we've got a boohoo haul coming but before we go any further please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe because by doing that it's totally free and you are helping support my channel and help Nick grow and I really appreciate that. I upload every Saturday morning at 10.30am so don't miss out. We know the drill by now. I am a UK size 20 plus size disabled girl and I bring you monthly boohoo hauls and now we're going into July so it's time for a new haul. So let's get started. First up today we have got a plus striped loop back wide leg jumpsuit blue size 20. So let's take a look at this. Oh, it's pretty long feels very soft so it's just a striped jumpsuit with a tiny little cap sleeve just here elasticated at the waist and then comes down as a wide leg it's really soft it's cottony now it has one little loop button at the back and my concern is let me undo this is that going to be easy to get my body into? I guess we're about to find out. Okay guys, I just wanted to like come here and finish off getting dressed so you can see. Now, I've pulled this up kind of as far as here and I haven't got the sleeves on yet and it doesn't stretch any further. So I think I'm going to have to take it down to get an arm in hook it over a boob and get it round the back, back over the other boob and then I'm left with this little space to, God, good job I'm hypermobile, to get that on. Whew. The struggle is real. Now let's do this up. It's just a tiny little like pearl looking button. Right, what do we think? Now I've got a mirror just here, so if I'm kind of looking off camera, you know why. Right, oh, I like this. Struggle to get into. It comes down now, I don't know if you can see, but it comes down as far as sort of like mid calf. So it's good length, as we all know, I'm a tall girl, I'm nearly six foot tall. Sleeves come down further than I expected. It comes in here at the waist. And you know what? We know I don't do the Bridget Joneses. We all know why. And I know you can see my tummy, but I don't care. I really like this. This is really cute. I can imagine going out on a summer's day in this and feeling really cool. Now, I will be honest, getting it on, that struggle was real. You just watched me like a contortionist get into this and if I was boohoo what I think I would have done was done another button here and another loop down further because as a plus size girl we're not going to mind a little gap just on our back there but we want the space to be able to climb into it <laughs> I like this I think this is a keeper I do like this I don't mind the belly. I think the um, little stripes kind of work with it. And we all know I'm trying to be body confident and learn to love my little pouch. So I've got to practice what I preach really, haven't I? This is cute. Shall we see what's next? Okay, this is a plus plunge button down skater dress size 20. We all know where this goes. Woohoo! And it literally just landed there. <laughs> Never mind. Let's 
take a look at this. So here we go. This is that ribbed material. Let me come closer. Come closer, come closer. There you go, you can see. And the buttons that start down here, they are false ones. They don't actually make the dress open. Now, this is a skater dress. And I've been pretty lucky with the length of skater dresses so far from Boohoo. They've like, being a tall girl, they've been okay. However, this is worrying. <laughs> this situation here, right here, when I haven't even got it on, is slightly concerning. I'm gonna have to check to see if I can actually be seen on camera in this because of the length. Let's try it on. I've just noticed a hole down the seam where they've obviously missed sewing this part. So however this looks, it's going to have to go back regardless. But let's check it out. I've got to try and get out of this jumpsuit now. Let's find the button. Let's see how easy it is. Oh, okay. And then it's just pulled down from there. <laughs> I can just about show you this on camera. Just let's, you know, there's my nicks. There's my nicks. <laughs> so at the front and oh, the back. Can you see? This is a cute dress. Top on me. It is cute. If it was that little bit longer, I'd have considered keeping this. It's that ribbed material again that I got the dusky pink dress the last haul. And it's that kind of style, but not as heavy. And I find that the, it's just skimming my curves. And if this was a tiny bit longer, I would have been absolutely thrilled with this dress. Honestly. As I said before, they are fake buttons. It has a little seam round here, so it does cinch in just below the boobs. It's very lightweight, so even on the hottest summer day, you'd stay cool in this dress. It is just far too short, far too short indeed, which is a real shame. And which seam is it? Here it is. Here's that hole that I was talking about. So either way, it's going back, but it's going back because one, it's far too short, and two, it's faulty. I do find Boohoo are great in the return process, whatever your reason, whether something just doesn't suit you, it's too small, too big, or if it is faulty, I've never had any issues, and it is free return as well. I haven't done one of these for a little while, but I'm doing it again. I have braved buying and showing you, my lovely subscribers, a bikini. Should we take a look at it? So before I open the packet is a plus floral print high waist bikini, multi size 20. or it has got straps hanging to it. It is a proper cup, so hopefully it will be supportive because we all know I've got big boobs. And then the fastener at the back is just one of the snap ones as well. Oh, they've got this, this garment cannot be returned if this is removed thing on it. It is a size 20. Okay, it's got potential. Let's have a look at the bottoms. <laughs> These are high-waisted bikini bottoms, but they've got this cut-out lace detail at the side here. So if I put my hand there and come closer, see if you can see it. 
actually let's put it behind me there you go so I'm imagining you can have that as loose or as tight as you prefer it to be again it's got one of these hygiene things so when I put this on this is going to be dangling between my legs it's the thing on the bottoms <laughs> just so you know it has got the plastic thing on it but I will be keeping my knickers on because you know if I was to send this back I don't think I know it's got the hygiene thing but the next person who would buy it wouldn't want to know that I've been wearing it you know what I mean girls so it's such a pretty floral pattern as well it's so pretty there you go and I do have a holiday book still for this year for October I don't know whether we're gonna get there or not however I do have a hot tub in the back garden to help me with my pain for my therapy so bikinis and swimwear is always handy to me let's get this tried on okay guys something that's really annoying as I was just putting this on the thing to say you can't return it if this is broke has literally snapped and is hung by a thread. So if this is no good for me, I don't think I can return it. And that sucks. Right gang, I have it on. Here it is. Let's... I can feel that label thing between my legs and it's very um, <laughs> uncomfortable. Let's talk about the bottoms. They keep doing that little roll down thing just here and they feel uneven. They feel higher at the back than they are at the front and they feel kind of slanted. Can, I don't know if you can see that, that there's a slant upwards. But, so I kind of want, if I move my leg up, <laughs> I want that to even out and be a little bit more secure. I do actually quite like this little lace detail at the side. It's quite nice. It's not bothering me in any way and I wouldn't mind showing that part of my skin. That doesn't really bother me. Now, the top. I'm just not loving the top. I have got my boobs into the cups, if I come closer. They are in, but there's no support. I know I have got the Horton X strap on and you would say, yeah, just pull the strap up, which is true. However, then it starts lifting at the bottom here. There's no kind of secure strap that keeps it nicely in place around your middle. So to be able to offer that kind of support, because it would be great, wouldn't it, if I could just have it there and it's supporting my boobs nicely but I didn't feel like it was suddenly going to whoosh like if I was in the sea or jumped into a swimming pool I'm not joking, the way this is at the moment literally the water would go under and up they would lift I'm so gutted, I thought this bikini was such a good looking bikini maybe if you are small and busted it might make all the difference in the world the bras that I'm wearing are a size 40 e they are a tad too big for me now i've lost a little bit of weight so i do need to get some more but that gives you an idea of my size it fits nicely around here but there's just no support for it the cups are just about big enough to get my boobs into but I don't want them hanging like this. I want my boobs here and looking good and making me feel good. And that bikini just doesn't offer this. It was inexpensive. We all know that I've popped the price here somewhere on the screen for you. But that doesn't mean that I want a bikini just to walk around in and not actually be functional. Oh, it's such a shame because I really loved it. And now I'm concerned that I won't be able to return it because this hung off when I undid the clip of the bikini top. So keep your fingers crossed for me because this has got to go back. This is just weird. This is sitting at an angle. Like, it's making me feel wonky. <laughs> I want it to be, you know, 
going up to the beach bar and they're pumping, do you like pina coladas? And I'd be like, yeah, I'll take some of them back to my sun lounger and laze in the sun. I just can't do that with this bikini. What a shame. Next on the list. Plus Brodery Anglais smock dress, white, size 20. Now, when I saw this, I thought initially this might be a nice little cover-up for when I am wearing my bikinis and just need a little summer tone. We don't want to be out in the sun all the time, do we, girls? Oh, wow. Okay, like this is a proper, like, full-on smock dress. I didn't realise it would be kind of this weighty, actually, for what it is. So, if you don't know, embroidery anglais is this kind of pattern into the material, so it has the stitching and then the holes. It's not lined, so you're going to see straight through it and see my skin or my underwear. The sleeve has this little flared out sleeve here. It's just an over the head jobby to pop it on. Um, it has a seam around the waist here, but it is a drop waist, it's not like immediately under the boobs. And let's stand back, it is about just above my knee. Let's check it out. I think you need to size down because there's plenty of room for the boobs and things here. Got no issues, got no issues with the arm space either. It does give you plenty of space here. It doesn't cut into the armpits or anything. It's just too big, which is such a shame because it's such a pretty little dress. And I said I was looking for a beach cover up, but to be quite honest, I could see myself out shopping in this dress. And it'd be great because it's just a pull on, pull off. and if you're trying clothes on and things, it's nice and simple and it keeps you cool. And it's good looking as well. Just a little bit too big for me though. I may order this in a size 18 and see what it looks like. What do you think guys? What do you think of me in this dress? Do you like it? I've kind of never gone for a white dress, pure white before and you know, I'm trying to change, aren't I? And I like it, I don't hate me all in white. Giving me bridal vibes now, but I don't hate it, I do like it. And I'm just a bit gutted that it just makes me look a bit bigger than what I actually am. What's next? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was a white, or well, slightly off-white, judging by this. You can see the difference between this dress and this top. Like scalloped vest top. Let's undo that slowly. Again, size 20. Let's see what the description says. Plus scalloped tiered cami ivory size 20 so it wasn't white it was ivory now I can never remember what this material is let me look at the label <laughs> okay so this is 97% polyester 3% elastic something or other which is probably this elastic at the back so it does have a stretched bit at the back it has these tiny spaghetti sleeves that are not adjustable just so you know girls and then it has this scalloped edge here which I'm assuming is going to drop just after my boobs yeah and then it drops straight down and it's got a scalloped edge at the bottom as well pretty basic pretty simple but nice let's have a look at it on here she is I like it what can I say? There isn't too much to go wrong here, but we know from previous vlogs that doesn't always mean it can't go wrong. Now, this little scalloped edge here means that it's double lined. Now, if it wasn't double lined, this would be a heck of a see-through top. But because it is, I know you can still see my bra, but it's nothing like, oh my God, in your face. And then it drops down to this single layer that is again scalloped at the bottom. 
it's elasticated here at the back so it has got plenty of stretch just here however it fits me fine and it is long enough here under the arm so it doesn't cut in it lands just below my pouch as well so it's the perfect length for me and I just think that this is a great simple cami style top that you can pair with anything you can dress it up you can dress it down pop on a little pair of shorts or pop on a pair of -la 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 linky trousers for a night out it'll work in this top nice and simple this is a winner winner chicken dinner Woo! this in the jumpsuit so far we've got some results here this week guys um, it does come down lower at the back it is like almost covering my backside even though we know that's flat as a pancake so if you do have a little bit more booty in the trunk you might want to consider sizing up because it might be a little bit tight there i like this top this is a keeper okay two more items to go next item a little bit different but very in keeping with our time right now this is the rainbow face mask that you can use to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. Let's take a look at it. Even me with glasses on. I'm just gonna hook it over my ear. Over my ear. Oh. There we go. Now tuck it under, make sure my glass is on the outside so I don't steam them up. Little rainbow face mask. There we go. We've come to the final item. We all know what my room looks like. Plus extra thick, long line, cycling shorts. Black, size 20. I thought I would try these almost kind of lycra style shorts. They are a little bit thicker, they're a shiny material. I don't know if you can see that really on here. That's the bottom, the leg area, and they are elasticated as usual. So let's see what they look like. I have them on. This is what they look like on. impressions yeah they're a pair of black cycling shorts now impressions when you actually put them on I feel like I've got that wonky waistline going on again and I have got them on the right way the uh, label is here comes down lower at the back as well I feel like I want to pull them right up and they're not going over there they feel like they're just pulling down constantly. I think the moment that I start walking or wearing these, they're just gonna go eh, 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 down and off. So, okay. On a chub rub kind of issue, yeah, they'd be fine, but I think that the materials start bobbling pretty quickly and who do the cotton cycling shorts which is what I use underneath my little dresses and things and they're great they're perfect for it they do exactly what you need them to do for chub rub and these I just feel already I'm getting hot in them and you don't want to be getting a sweaty crotch <laughs> nobody likes a sweaty crotch <laughs> so no, I'm not a fan of these. Like, even if I was going out on my bike or whatever, I would use my other, like, cotton cycling shorts because these just aren't it. These are, by the way, I'm absolutely loving this. Look at it. It's great. But this, not so much. Oh. I'm going to get out of these sweaty shorts. <laughs> Back into my normal clothes and then we'll do our summary. Okay guys, we know I always do this, a little roundup 
of what I've just tried on. Let's start off with the blue and white jumpsuit. Love it, absolutely love it. I can see that that's gonna be a staple for me for the rest of the summer, even if it's just to chuck it on to go out for a walk with Buster. It's heavenly. The only thing about it is getting into it, just undoing the one button and the width of it. If you're bigger, I know that the jumpsuit would then be bigger, but you have to be a contortionist to get into it. You've just seen me try. So bear that in mind, but apart from that, that's a thumbs up and that is staying. The next thing we tried on was the gray skater dress. Wow, that was short. Such a shame, if it had been, two three inches longer that would have been a keeper it was lightweight and it had that lovely ribbed material that does hide a thousand sins but it's just too short oh the bikini i really was hoping that i could be rocking that floral print bikini either strutting out in my garden to my hot tub or on a beach in Thailand with those beautiful tropical prints in that nice fitted bikini top and high-waisted lace side bottoms but the bottoms were wonky and there was zero support in the top even just adjusting the halter neck there just was no support and my vision I want my boobs up here not down here it's going back embroidery on glade dress I think I'm gonna order it in a smaller size and see what happens because it was just the size in this one it was just too big and too much material going on and I feel if I size down and it still fits the top area it will look gorgeous absolutely stunning this will be great for those girls with a bit more booty because it will flare out and go over it nicely it's got the space for it so this is one of those outfits where my flat as a pancake bum just doesn't help because it doesn't fill it whereas you lovely girls with those lovely juicy bums that's going to be a great one for you the ivory scalloped cami love it what more can I say? It fit lovely on me. The second layer that just went over the boobs, it just hit at the right spot where I go in so it didn't make me feel bigger. Lengthwise, it covered my pouch. It went longer at the back, around the bum area. It has that elasticated fitting around the back as well. So you do have that stretch, but I didn't need it. Fit lovely under my arms as well. I can dress that up, dress that down. That is a great, great staple to my wardrobe and that is staying. The black cycling shorts. If you watch my channel, you know that I'm on a fitness journey and I am working out things and I would love a pair of proper fitness shorts, like cycling shorts to work out in because I do get quite hot in the long leggings. But those ones were not suited to sport. They were definitely a fashion cycling short and they were hot. Like even now, I'm still glowing from it. I just felt they were so sweaty. I felt that they were rolling down. There was plenty of room in them, but they were just rolling down and I could just imagine them bobbling with my chub rub if I wore them more than a couple of times. So that's another one going back, I'm afraid. Face mask. I obviously purchased that because of what's going on in the world today. At the moment in the United Kingdom, they do say wear face masks where possible and they've actually bought it in when you use public transport that you should be wearing it unless you have valid reasons such as you need to be lip reading or you have a disability or an illness that would prevent you or a mental, mental or physical illness that would prevent you from wearing it. The rest of the time it's law to wear it and you can get fined. So people are needing to purchase face masks now and I just thought that was really cute. Whenever I go food shopping, I wear a face mask. 
that's nice and easy to keep in my bag and just to chuck it in the washing machine to make it all nice and fresh again. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and my fashion haul from Boohoo. I've got a few things coming up that are really exciting and I can't wait to share them with you. Oh, I could be, I feel so giddy with excitement of the things that I know is coming. Oh, I can't wait, absolutely can't wait. So don't forget, tune in next Saturday, 10.30 a.m. Like and subscribe for me. You know the drill, guys, come on. I do want to do a giveaway when I finally get to a thousand subscribers. I'm literally 170 right now, so that could be a way away. Or if you all get your fingers down onto that button and press subscribe, I could get there and I'll be doing a giveaway. Come on, you know you want to. It makes sense. Right, time to go now. Don't forget to chat to me in the comments below. I always reply. And as always, lots of love. Mwah.